Like I always say, we get done wrong. This is not a sport. A sport is something you play. You don't play this. How open are you to uh, fighting Deontay Wilder and will you be cheering for him on the 15th? The two baddest boxers on the planet as we welcome Andy Ruiz Jr. here with our Deontay Wilder. Fight fans. But well, guess what, baby? We're back. We're live. We're ready. Welcome back. Of course, man. That, that's that's one of the dream fights that I always had. Furious fists will fly as two former champions meet at tipping point. There's going to be a big winner here, and there's going to be someone who's really set back. The victor shall return to heavyweight boxing's top table. Reputation enhanced. Credibility restored. The loser? will see his career hanging by a thread. A bronze bomber who carries generational power that turns lights out and creates memorable moments for all sports fans to savor. Andy, the destroyer, Facing a destroyer whose skills and ability belie his unathletic frame. Ready to upset the odds, once more. Hard pass right hand from Ruiz. You see how quick he is. Tuscaloosa Thunder mixed with Latino Heat. Here we present Deontay Wilder versus Andy Ruiz Jr. A closer look. Media presentation. Deontay Wilder's back. You know, he always looking for great, exciting fights. That way he loves to get the fans. So if that's what lined up next, I got to handle the business. After that, man, we can get it on. After all the question marks, it took Deontay Wilder less than three minutes to remind the public of his prowess. Concerns over how Deontay would look when returning from crushing back-to-back -back losses to his nemesis Tyson Fury were definitively answered. We wanted Robert to reach, and um, once he reached, I teached. A valuable lesson was taught tonight. So the heavyweight division is on check. The giant stature of the Nordic nightmare, Robert Hellenius, held the potential to raise ghosts of the past and cause stylistic issues had Wilder's former sparring partner been allowed to settle. Now, Wilder has had problems with tall guys. One half-cocked right hand later, and Hellenius was waking up on the canvas, enduring a nightmare of his own. This is serious. We don't know if Robert's going to be the same after this. I just did a job. I'm great at what I do. Wilder's trilogy of wars with the Gypsy King had not dampened his renowned finishing instincts. Not one for standing off and feeling out foes, Wilder has displayed composure and poise in the past, gently shedding the skin of the windmill fighter that exploded onto the scene. And I'm still here. Alabama, I love you. And I'm not going nowhere. We're going to keep them coming. We're going to keep fights coming. For every crunching KO of dominant Brazil, there has been a patient pounding of Johan Duhal. Deontay may see a weakness in round one, and 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 wait and it manifests itself again in round three and he knocks you out for every oddly harrison blast out an artur spilka puzzle to solve he will need every ounce of strategic thinking to overcome this next challenge he said it if i am successful against robert hellenius then let's get it on and that's a fight i would love to sign up for the auntie is the best heavyweight in the world he has some mishaps like we all had in life he came up short against another very great fighter mm -hmm. but he's the best in the world we gotta get it because i believe um that the way that his that he fights the way that his style the way that he moves i i know that that i could get in there and and crack him he's not the same guy he got in his mind that he can get knocked out he's not the same guy one man who sampled the explosive wilder power on two separate occasions is luis ortiz you better not go get nothing to eat you better not you better use the, the bathroom before you come because you said never know what happens baby because saturday night it's gonna be bombs away not many people can say they've experienced the power of Deontay Wilder. How would you rate his power, and is it the the most you have faced in your career? Sometimes it feels like some, you know, like a horse or mule kicking you. What we saw Saturday night with Deontay Wilder, Jesus Christ, can that guy punch? During his own tussle with the Cuban veteran, 
Andy Ruiz must have wondered what he had to do to put Ortiz away for good. That guy's hella tough, man, but I had to be smart, I had to be cautious. I was waiting a little bit too much for to counterpunch. It's never easy drawing mistakes out of such a savvy campaigner with a sound technical background, but Andy stuck diligently to his task and narrowly prevailed on points. I want to fight at least three, four times a year. I'm ready, man. I'm hungry. I want to be champion again to bring that belt back to Mexico. Once the three positive, positive drug tests came in, we searched for a new opponent. Someone sent me a direct message on Instagram. Give me this fight. I will fight harder than any of the names you've mentioned, and I will beat Anthony Joshua. When I spoke to Joe Parker's trainer, Kevin Barry, he said that Joe said that you punch harder than AJ. Could the knockout happen? Is that beyond the realms of possibility? I thought he's a cool guy, do you know what I mean? I said, I got in there and I just beat him up slowly, but if he talks reckless, I will bat him. It could happen, you know, especially with this heavyweight division. It only takes one punch to change the fight, so... Joshua fighting in the United States for the first time, fighting outside the UK for the first time of his career. In 2019, Ruiz fully capitalized on Anthony Joshua's mistakes, stopping the British boxing poster boy and rocking the heavyweight landscape. It's, that is it! Andy Ruiz at Madison Square Garden! Like? Dropping the ball in the rematch by arriving in unforgivable physical shape, Ruiz conceded a 12-round decision. Just like when he faced Joseph Parker in 2016, Ruiz displayed a worrying habit of tripping at the finish line. We did work on some things, but I think for me being a little heavier, well, a lot heavier, um, I didn't perform at this. But joining Wilder under the Heyman banner has put this in-house pay-per-view attraction considerably easier to put together. Ruiz has been floored in the past, but shown a commendable tendency to recover and come back for more. Oh, oh. Ruiz is hurt again. And he's got... He'll let it fly now. Add that staying power to his boxing skills, and Destroyer may be about to pose some big problems. I just want the opportunity to get that bow. The WBC bow, that's the one that I'm chasing for. And if it's Wilder, if it's Usyk, if it's Joshua again, whatever it takes, I just want that bow. Dream on whatever nightmare you're in, wake up. <laughs> you, you think Andy Ruiz is quicker than Wilder? A lot of fans do. No, don't be daft. To the combinations that he throws? Definitely not. <laughs> The strong jab Wilder employed in the first fight with Bermain Stavern could prove a useful weapon to keep Ruiz on the outside and ineffective, given Deontay's nine-inch reach advantage. What do you think about Andy Ruiz and Wilder? I think we're not going to be a good fight, but I think Wilder's going to hurt, probably hurt him because, you know, I think Wilder's too strong. He's also five inches taller than Ruiz, who has been known to weigh near 300 pounds. A pro since 2009, Ruiz boasts a 59% KO ratio, but has suffered from spells of inactivity. Wilder, meanwhile, has stopped or dropped every opponent he's faced. His frightening 91% KO ratio tells its own story. In 13 years, he's traveled the 12 round distance twice, while Ruiz's last three bouts have all gone the full 12. He's gonna get punished by Wilder because Wilder's a bigger puncher than I am. Wilder's a smarter fighter from the outside, so I got Wilder in that fight. Having gate crashed the 2008 Olympics, Wilder spent his early years learning on the job and has so far produced 162 sessions of professional action. Big nights at the Barclays Center, Brooklyn, have produced some of the most scintillating finishes. That right, I would have knocked anyone. I would have knocked the horse out. That was serious. Ruiz has traveled to Macau, New Zealand, and Saudi Arabia while compiling his 187 rounds. It's like how Eddie Hearns was saying, I, I'm going to get in, I'm going to throw my combinations, I'm going to be fast, explosive, and I feel that right hand in his temple is going to go down. You said if the people want it, then you want it. Well, the people want it. 
do you? Nobody safe. Soon as we step out the cage, we raising all of the stakes. Make no mistake. Either you stay in your place or we put in you on a plate. Look at our face. We put the Ruiz face showed against Joshua that he's no pushover when it comes to an old fashioned dog fight. You will likely have to come forward and back Wilder up, looking to counter punch and land in between the gaps when Wilder explodes with his familiar burst. Wilder's right hand is Thor's hammer, and here in round one, he has racked the rocking stubborn! I'm scaring heavyweights each and every time, don't you see it? You know, I am the most feared. And if I'm not, then I want somebody to shut me up. I want somebody to prove that to me. Deontay! The hellenius demolition showed little about Wilder's mental and physical states. Is he diminished after the fury beating? As fans will know, just one punch can change the trajectory of a fight. That you can like yourself, you can trust yourself, you can believe in yourself. Not in the guy you build up, not in the guy that gets 20 pounds. That, that, that's not you. You got to find you. And I think he went back and found him. Ruiz will have to show improved stamina than in recent outings. The portly pugilist hands are undeniably fast. But he occasionally exhibits limited head movement and can be slow of foot. His physical stamina will need to be on point. Countless other wilder opponents burned up nervous energy trying to make the perfect moves and stay out of missile range. A lot of people are going into the ring and looking for a comfy, comfy position on campus before they go in there. They're afraid. They think the odds are all big power. It's me a whole time. I am the king, and you remember that. It's not a, it's not me, or it's not for him. Yes. In theory, anyone who absorbs Wilder's power could upset the Alabama banger. Back up Wilder and take the fight to him will be the plan, but he's got to be ever so careful. All it takes is one shot for Deontay Wilder. But so far, only one man has been able to deal with the pressure, rise, regroup, and prevail. Can you continue? You want to it was my goal. Because um, I think this Deontay Wilder beats him easy. Mm. The WBC have confirmed that this fight will serve as a final eliminator to face that man, Tyson Fury. For me to fight Tyson Fury, then I want it, you know, because that's the bout that I'm aiming for. That's the bout that I'm missing. That's the bout that I want, the WBC bout. And I'm not going to stop quitting until I get that belt. The Wilder resume can be picked at and his fundamentals mocked. However, there is no doubting the excitement and unpredictability he carries into every fight. Deontay, he's the type of guy that takes chances. When people take chances, they win. Even when Deontay lags on the scorecards, fans sit on the edge of their seats waiting for the Hitchcock moment when the ticking time bomb finally explodes. We're into the sixth. Have you given Deontay anything? No, I've given Ortiz every single round. I'd be surprised if anyone could see any other way. All humans are not created equal. Mm. Some people mm. just have a beautiful hand mm. of cards. Yes. Like that guy's got four aces, and he puts them right in your face. That is the difference! And still, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world squad! Andy Ruiz has shown flashes of brilliance in the past, glimpses of a fighter in shape and firing on all cylinders. But making Wilder miss and making him pay are only half the battle. Ruiz against Wilder? He gives Wilder absolute fits in that fight. He will knock Wilder clean out. He will, he will, he will be so one-sided, that fight. Adding further stains to the 37-year-old's record will push Ruiz right back into the mix as a former unified heavyweight champion with a second huge scalp. But one false move, and Deontay Wilder will close the distance and send another heavyweight boxer to dreamland. This fight right here, you better be preparing. You better train your, your butt off as if your life depends on it. Because your life depends on it.